Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are two days away from FIFA 23, and it feels like there's a lack of hype right now, even though we are so close to getting onto the game via the web app for the first time. I'm not saying everyone is not hyped right at the moment, but from what I see, from what I see people talking about, posting about, and even in the comments section on these YouTube videos, it just seems like this might be the least hyped FIFA release in the past few years, but I think there's a couple of reasons for that. So I want to talk about that in today's video, not saying that everybody is not hyped because I am hyped. I know there's a lot of you that are hyped as well. Again, two days away from the web app. We've done a lot of preparation. There's still some more to do. We have the whole top 1000 ratings database released. We're going to be looking at some cards that we saw from that in today's video and more price predictions coming on today's stream and potential double upload on the YouTube channel today as well. Just thinking ahead in my future might be doing that. We'll have to see. But if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this hype situation just for a second because, you know, I I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here and trying to be negative at all, but I feel like a lot of you guys can resonate with this. I put a poll out on Twitter yesterday saying, Rank your FIFA 23 hype. Where are you at right now? Just because I had seen some people talking about this and feeling it myself that it wasn't the most hyped FIFA ever. Like, I remember last year at the start of FIFA 22, at this point, when the ratings database was dropped, people were excited, ready to go, ready to build starter teams, and there's plenty of that right now, but it just doesn't feel as much. And look at the results, 38 percent saying no hype 35 percent kind of hype and only 26 percent like let me get on the web app right now so that was a bit interesting to me but i almost felt that coming in a way if you know what i mean just because it feels like as some of you guys have commented it's just you know I don't know, a little bit lackluster right now, but what are the reasons for that? And, you know, I think this tweet from Jake is another one uh, on Twitter. I I'm seeing here that he's agreeing that the FIFA 23 has been the least hyped FIFA in the past five years. He lists some reasons down here, like burnout, lack of change from the video game in FIFA. Of course, it's the same cycle every year, right? And I totally get that. Another point that I want to add here that I think is very relevant to the situation is FIFA 22. Like, let's be honest, guys. FIFA 22 really ended recently. There was still stuff to do inside of the preseason promo with cards in packs, 85 times 10s, people chasing after the Mbappe Tots card, the 99 Messi, 99 Ronaldo, the Ginola, the Marcelo Conte. People were playing FIFA 22 and still kind of grinding it up until like last week. If we're being completely honest, there was people still pretty going pretty hard in this game. And I think that what we have this year in 22 into 23 is not as big of a gap or a clear cut gap between the end of the old FIFA and the start of the new one. I think that's really the key because a lot of people were just playing FIFA 22. They're like, I'm not ready to start this stuff over yet. I was just trying to get 99 Ronaldo and stuff. So I completely understand that train of thought. And again, if that's you, if you're not ready for 23 yet, that's completely fine. But, you know, I think that you have a little bit of time to get ready still because the whole web app period this year for 23 is going to be a bit different. And we really can't get on the game still for another eight days, right? That 27th date is the big date when the new game comes out. So I just want to talk about that a little bit in today's video. Again, not really, I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because I know that the hype is going to build. I know the hype is going to be there, but at least right now it seems that people are, we haven't gotten to that stage yet where it's like full on hype for real hype with the new game coming out, even though we are so close to getting on the game. And for you guys that are hyped like me, this is no reason to feel ashamed of feeling hyped. Like it's okay to be anywhere on, on the spectrum of, of hyped to not hype at all. I feel like it will get towards, especially later on this week when the web app starts, I think there's gonna be a lot of people that are like, all right, man, it's go time, let's do this thing. And then, you know, especially towards next week in the 27th, we will get really hyped again. But another kind of thing that's helping the hype at least a little bit is the ratings database. And I wanna talk about that for a good portion of the video today too, is looking through some of the ratings Ratings that we had dropped. Now, EA dropped only the top 1,000. This is what they did last year. And, you know, it's. I wish we would have the full database because, I mean, a lot of the non-rare cards, even silvers and bronzes, are going to be important, especially on the web app period. We would love to see those ratings, love to see those players. So now if you go on the EA website, I'll link this down below in the description if you don't know where it's at, you can see the top 1,000 players uh, and their in-game stats. That's the nice part here, too. Um, as we're going to talk about, we're still missing some information. Actually, we're still missing missing a lot of information, but it is nice to see some of these players' stats. You can look 
for a lot of different things. Uh, of course, what a lot of people are looking for right now are some OP starter cards, right? Everybody's going in. Hey, my boy Matt Turner. Nice, 77 rated. If, yeah, if you go all the way to the end here, you can see the the lowest rated card in the top 1,000 is 77 rated Hugo Malo, technically by EA standards. Uh, he is the 1,000th rated player. Uh, so that's the, all of the stats that EA dropped. And a lot of people, like I mentioned, are going through these right now and looking for overpowered starter team type players. And, you know, there's a couple of them that have really stuck out from the past day or two. I think it's kind of tough to search on here. Zakaria, boom. Actually, you know what? It looks better. Let's just go to Footbin. I'm going to talk about this for a second, too. You know, the EA website is where they dropped all these ratings, right? And that's kind of where you can look to see all this stuff. But Footbin, Footwiz, and Foot.gg all have these cards. But I'm going to make, you know, show you guys something here and make a little bit of a case for Footbin. You know, Footbin has been clear for the past few years is like the best FIFA website. And I think they're clear again this year. It's the only bad thing about Footbin right now is when you go to the home page. Like, let me just show you the homepage of Footbin, right? And you start typing in a player. Like, let's say I want to look up that Zakaria card, right? It shows me FIFA 22. I have to change this to 23. And then I can type in Zakaria and pull up the card instead of just typing it in right off the bat. But what I like about Footbin is Footbin has also been adding some players that have been released um, via like club, Instagram, Twitter pages and stuff like that. So there's more players on Footbin than some of the other sites. So if I go to gold cards, all gold, like let's say, you know, what we're going to really be doing a lot in the next two days before the web app comes out is looking for those hidden gem starter team players, which we're going to take a few look at a few in this video, but also look for good cards to like trade with and cards that we want to maybe trade with with league SBCs uh, or not league SBCs but SBC solutions and stuff like that so like let's search uh, German let's go position center back let's just see what we have you know so like some of these guys that are above 77 rated are obviously in the top 1000 but like these two guys down here these two non rares they were added to footbin via um, you know, like their club or a Bundesliga league tweet. Like there were some other random tweets and posts online where Footbin's been adding these extra cards. So if you guys are searching and looking for a lot of information, just know that of the players that are posted right now, they are definitely not all released. There are still a lot more players that we need to see. But of course, you can see those players that are in here that are below um, that rating kind of threshold that is the top 1,000. So that's something to really talk about and look at. Again, as I mentioned, it is it does look pretty nice on the FootWiz website. You can easily search for players here. If you go in the front, just you know type in whatever player. They're already searching Foot23. Same thing with Foot.gg. Again, like a bomb gang with the haircut. Haven't seen his card. Like That's one that a lot of people are pretty interested in. Uh, and looking at these cards that were not in the top you know 23 per each league or any of the lists that they have released. So there's a lot to look at and there's a lot of cards that I'm going to look at in a second. A really big thing about this whole ratings release is secondary and alternate positions. All right. As we're digging for the OP starter cards and starting to create our starter teams and stuff like that, some of these players in here are showing, you know, there's uh, alternate positions on FootWiz, FootBin, and Foot.gg. They all have some alternate position positions shown, right? You can see striker to center forward for Vardy. Same thing for Aubameyang. Phil Foden has Cam center forward left mid as his uh on on this website his alternate positions now the only thing i have to say is on the beta i saw people using cards on the beta that were sponsored by ea videos i have to say that right you know it's i didn't play the beta myself and to a place where i could talk about it shout out ea creator network for allowing those people to play it and i watched people play it but one thing i have to say is on the beta i saw messi as a center attacking mid. I also saw Neymar as a center attacking mid. And as you can see, they do not have those alternate positions listed. So here's what I would say to you. Don't believe that these alternate positions listed on the websites right now are final because I do think there could be some extra ones. Now, could these also be final? Technically, maybe, but they're not on the EA website, right? If you look on here, it, it says nothing about secondary positions you know, and stuff like that. So I would just be a little bit careful believing these 100% right now. Uh, what's really going to be helpful is when we get the web app on Wednesday or if uh, FootWiz usually is one of the earlier ones to tweet out and say, hey, we have the full entire complete database, then I think that might be 
where uh, we could maybe believe a little bit more of those positions and alternate positions. So I'm just a little bit leery on these right now because I can see EA limiting the positions a little bit and maybe they just had like a center attack in mid for Messi and, and Neymar in the beta so that they would see where people were using those cards and maybe they are limiting those secondary positions on some cards a little bit because of course that could be more promos and content for them in the future if you think about it like a center attack in mid messy card just adding that onto one of a promo card like it's an alternate position for him you know or even his starting position that would be some way they could try to spin a promo off of not making a messy available right now that has that position change, so I can see that. But then you have other cards like this Marcus Urente, who can be center mid, right mid, right back. Uh, and I believe in the beta as well, he had a striker position change too. I'm not even lying. I, I'm saw, I saw that in there as well. Um, so there's some really interesting position changes in here, but mostly what people are looking for are the overpower cards, right? Abomiang, 85 rated, 87 pace, 84 shooting. Looks like a pretty solid uh, striker card in the Premier League. I don't think he's going to be that expensive. And like I said, we're going to do some more price predictions, but how much was Abomiang last year at the start of the year? Obviously, at his Arsenal card to start off with, he was about 40 or 50K. So, minus two pace, minus one shooting, and minus one dribbling for Aubameyang. Not a super big downgrade. If He's, he's still four-star, four-star. That's nice. Chelsea links. Uh, again, his nation link is going to be difficult for chemistry, but uh, with the Chelsea links, should be decently easy to get him in there. You can use somebody like Koulibaly and obviously get an easy chem point for having two people from the same club. Um, so yeah, the chem points for him will be a little interesting. I would imagine that Aubameyang this year, still being one of the top paced strikers in the Premier League, you know, I, I think that he would still probably be around like 40 to 50 K, maybe, maybe 35 to 45,000 coins, a little bit cheaper, but still going to be a usable card at the start of the game. There's so many great cards to look at from the database. That's what I want to do right now. St. Juste, 93 pace. I don't know how this card was posted. It must have been from like the fastest players list because he's below 77 rated, but 93 pace for St. Juice Day. He is in the Liga Nos. There's a couple Liga Nos cards. Liga Nos is looking sneaky OP for some starter squads. Also with this St. Juice Day card, uh, where's Verissimo? I'm going to look him up really quick on Footbin because maybe we just need to go and search by the league in uh, like the, the the big group search of players. But this card looks really good as well. Of course, Benfica links. So, and Brazil links as well. Pretty good for an early game hybrid potentially. But the nice link you're going to get with this Verissimo card is this guy. And a lot of people are looking at this dude. Alexander Ba, 92 pace right back with 81 physical, 72 defense, six, like all around pretty solid card for a 78 rated. Look at those stats. Of course, he definitely needs a defensive boost. You're going to play him at right back. But that's a pretty exciting card. High, high work rates. That's going to be a card that might sell in the first like week for like 5K. But after that, he's going to be discard. So, you know, there's so many of these great starter cards that we're trying to find and look through. As I mentioned, the Zakaria is probably one of the most hyped ones that I've seen floating around right now in terms of a starter team type build. So I'm excited to get on the Twitch stream today and look through a, a lot more cards and talk through a lot more of these items. Goncalo Guedes, 86 pace, 83 shooting, 83 dribbling, four star, four star, another cheap, um, you know, probably sub 10 to 15K striker option to start the year um, as a Premier League striker. So that's a pretty dope card. So I'm really excited to look through a bunch of FIFA 23 players um, and start again. There's so many players to look through right now, whether you're just looking for a certain league, you're like, okay, I'm looking for the best certain players from a certain league so that I can start to build out my starter team. Uh, even heroes in here as well, which is nice. So I think I would use flipping guys for real, just because they have more cards in here posted than the other websites. They even have some like bronzes and silvers from the random teams that have posted their ratings uh, so far. So definitely Definitely be looking in here with these. But again, be careful with the alternate positions. Not 100% sure on those yet uh, as we go further this week. We'll hopefully learn a little bit more. Also, what we hope to learn more about, and I'm still so surprised we haven't heard a thing about this yet, are the pitch notes, man. EA Sports, drop us some pitch notes. Mr. Foot Economist, a.k.a. Jamie Kane. I was expecting these like last Friday or maybe Saturday. And here we are on Monday morning, at least, with nothing yet on some pitch notes. So I know there would be so much good information. Like you, you look at the ones they've dropped the past two years. Like we really need some more information on is there going to be a team of the week one starting on Wednesday? I want to talk about that in a second. 
Are they going to do the same thing with Foot Heroes and put them in packs from the full release date of the game? Or are Foot Heroes going to be in from Wednesday with the web app access? Those sort of little small things get answered in this launch update pitch notes that we've been hoping for and expecting and waiting for. So I guess, fingers crossed, maybe today on Monday that we, we finally get that. Uh, because that would be nice to know about about preview packs. They haven't said a thing about division rivals rewards, foot champs rewards, if they're making any changes there. Uh, so all of that would be very nice to know information for sure. So fingers crossed for that again today. Surprised we haven't had that yet. And then also, I just want to take a quick look through some of these Team of the Week 1 predictions. I was scrolling through Twitter, searching up Team of the Week 1. Some, some pretty solid cards, honestly. If Team of the Week 1 is Wednesday, Saliba, Lewandowski, Hyunmin Son, De Bruyne, Immobile, Gakpo. I mean, that card I've been seeing floating around on Twitter a lot. This guy, and the nice thing is, again, right? We go to, we go to Footbin, we can search a FIFA 23 player and imagine what their card's going to look like in 23, and look at the in-game stats because these guys all have cards in the game now. So Gakpo's card looks really nice, a little bit low on the balance, but four-star, four-star, medium-medium work rates is not the best, but that could be a really nice kind of off-league starter nation or maybe a couple links you get with some other PSV players. Uh, Dutch left wing, he gets an inform that first week. That could be a really, really nice card to use. Maybe a little position change action there as well. Who knows? Hyunmin's son, of course. Saliba with that upgrade would make his card look a lot better uh, as a starter center back in a Prem team. Um, because Prem center backs this year, you know, you actually give this guy one inform and he's got about the same pace as a Varane. So 80 rated cards go to 83 rated informs. That's a pretty accurate you know, description of the stats right there. He might even, yeah, he would look a lot like Gold Varane's card uh, because we even talked about that in yesterday's video looking at some price predictions. Varane just does not look as hot. So any competition for him this year, yeah, look at that. 85 defense, 80 physical. This card has 84, 82 with 81 and higher dribbling and passing. That could be a very, very nice starter. Uh, French inform in the Prem to start the year off. So again, that's what we're going to have fun with today for the next day or so. Hopefully we get some more information, but I'm looking forward to diving into the database, looking through a bunch of players and starting to figure out how we can A, make some coins with some cheaper, you know, league or not league. I keep saying league SBCs. I don't know why I'm thinking about league SBCs, but getting into the database, looking for some squad building solution, SBC type trades and stuff like that and then also building some starter teams with a lot of dope looking cheap beast squad so keep a lookout for a secondary upload today talking about some of those brand new players we just saw and maybe some price predictions for them in the early game but if you enjoyed today's video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you're feeling the no hype fifa situation thing so we're getting one day closer to the release of fifa 23 and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace